Hey traders, John Hell here. Uh, we're at an important point right now for the markets. I'm gonna be looking through the stock market, be sharing some stuff that I shared with yesterday when it comes to gold, silver. Interest rates are also playing out exactly the way that I've been seeing, so I wanna share that with you as well too. Plus also, I've got a really interesting chart that I wanna share with you that I think is going to really blow you away. So anyway, let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. All right, traders, let's actually get straight into the actual stock market. So the stock market right now, we're looking at the Russell. This is the Russell chart. And the first thing about the Russell chart is this, okay? So you can see how we've had this resistance point here. We had this major resistance point and we're getting very, very, very close to that point right now on the Russell. So as you can see, we still are in this big overall downward trend through here. Um, so the overall trend is still down. And so looking at where we're at right now, you can see we're actually in a, in a, uh, um, in actually like, like a bear flag formation. So it's gonna be really, we're at a very important juncture through here. You can see we had this Resistance point here, resistance point, that's a support, that's a support as well too. So we're at this very important juncture in, in these markets right now. And it does to me look like, um, it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens here. Now the line in the sand for this market is this level here. If indeed we start to get a very strong break up above that 190 level, this is obviously on the Russell. That's gonna that's gonna tell us because I'm always waiting to see when is the trend going to change. If we're gonna start to make new highs and so on and so forth, when is that trend going to change? Right now, we're still in an overall downward trend. Okay, so I've been doing videos the last few days saying, okay, where where is the bottom? Are we? I'm, I'm trying to look for for clues on the bottom, but remember, always uh, we always can look for the bottom, right? But I'm always saying, okay, who's in control? Who's in control? Who's in control? Meaning, where's the trend? 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 So. You can see what's happening here. This this whole line in the sand, this light, this this is that last significant high. Okay, so in a downward trend, what do we have? We have lower highs, lower highs, and lower highs, right? But if we start to break above this high here, we're no we're no longer what? We're no longer making lower high. So if we make lower high, lower high, lower high, and then we break the high, what can happen sometimes is that's now a warning, and now we make a high low, and then we start an upward trend. So that'll be the high there that I'm watching very, 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 very closely to show you or to see what's happening. Do we end up breaking above that 190? Right now, we're still in what? High, significant lower high, significant lower high, significant lower high. This could just be another significant lower high before we end up backing back down to the markets here. So guys, I'm always analyzing what's going on with the markets, okay? I can do videos from day to, I can do videos every day, but the most important part is, okay, what's happening right now in the markets and go with that, okay? There's a there's a big thing out there that I'm, one of the mistakes I've made in the past, which is going to people who I believe that were gonna tell me when the bottom was gonna be in, when the top was gonna be in and so on and so forth. The number one thing is to continue the reading what the market is telling you, which simply means looking at the trend analysis from that there. Let's look at the stock, the S&P 500, and it's doing something quite similar, okay? Quite similar to the, to the Russell, right? We had this overall downward trend. We are getting a pullback right now, but as you can see, we're out of, we're, st we're actually, we're getting a pullback into this overall um, bear flag through support, support, resistance, resistance as well too. As you can see all the support and resistance all through there. So what, oh, and we and we, and we we had a rally, 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 and today we actually had a bit of a down day. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens through there. The line in the sand for me for the S&P 500 is probably, eh, I'm just looking at it now. And again, this is a technical level basis here, guys. So the line in the sand for me, again, and, and I know a lot of people wanna to try to capture the bottom here, just like how the bottom's definitely in here. Um, Looking at the big macro picture and stuff like that, we could be forming a massive bottom because of what I'm gonna share with you with interest rates and so on and so forth. But on a technical level here, we're still at this sort of bear flag formation. I would have to say for us to start to get into a pretty free and clear, okay, the market's now completely changing tune, is we'd have to get we'd have to get back above this sort of 4,300 level. We have to get back above here. You cannot, no one's gonna tell you this is the exact bottom. No one's gonna tell you that. And 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 the, and what you want to do is you don't want to try to capture tops and bottoms, right? So, but because as you can see, this is a high, this is a lower high. This could just be another lower high before what? Before we do something like that, right? So we just need to keep an eye on that. But for this, to, if if this is going to start to break above this high, 
if this if that's that last high if we start to do something like this and we start to get a break above there and then we come back down to test it test all these levels here as support and then we start to do something like that guess what then yes we're probably going to be on our way to probably six thousand on the s p 500. I believe we're going to see 6,000 on the S&P 500 on the next rally. Yes, we're probably going to see another rally um, out of the market soon, but I, I, I just have to wait and see whether, what actually happens here when it comes to the markets here. That's the S&P 500. Look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is doing sort of the same thing as well too, or actually the exact same thing. What do we got here? We're actually in this bear flag formation, as you can see. And looking at the Dow Jones, the Dow Jones doing the exact same thing. And if you look at the overall trend line, we've got that overall sort of big long-term trend line. So we're coming up to a very important point with the actual markets, squeezing up through here. Now traders, there is amazing, amazing, amazing quality trades that are happening across these markets. Um, you know, both short and both bullish and bearish. So just make sure you keep an eye on these markets and make sure you're not make sure you're not one way, okay? Because throughout the throughout all these different stocks, this S and P five hundred and the Russell one thousand, there's so many really good bearish trades that are happening, and there's so many good bullish trades that are happening both sides, right? So I'm doing analysis on the S and P, the Nasdaq, the Dow, the Russell stuff like that, but it's really interesting to see. That, or that this just keep it keep it keep a non-biased view because there's there's actually plenty of good trades on the bullish side right now and there's plenty of good trades on the bearish side right now as well too okay um and so let's have a look at the gdx right now and the gdx right now is still at my overall trend line through here um i was saying that i was saying um a few days ago actually that we're at this we're at this sort of channel through here and we need to break above and i do believe once we get back once we start to break back above this channel then we're probably gonna see a nice rise through here. If we cannot see a rise through here, then we're probably gonna to start to see, <laughs> I know, don't shoot the messenger. Well, John, 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 you suck. Okay, so we could actually see, we actually could see another fall back down to the support levels here. You can see, look at it just hovering around, resistance, 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 which we tried today, we tried so much today to get back above it, and then and then we actually ha could actually, and then we, then, we're right there. If we cannot break above here, then um, then we're probably going to see another movement on the downside. Same for the SIL as well too, as you can see. Let me just make that a bit thicker for you, as you can see through there. Right. So let's just create a parallel trend line so we can develop the channel. Okay, where the channel is. And as you can see, look what happened today. We rallied up. We tried to break it back above it. And then we actually didn't, we actually rejected and we got back in, into that channel. It's crawling, 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 crawling. If we start to break below these lows levels through here, we could actually see, we actually could be getting ready for another, another strong movement on the downside in the mining sector. I am, I am long-term bullish on the mining sector, guys. I really am. Short-term, eh, not happening. It's not happening. Um, looking at the, uh, looking at gold. Let me take let me take off a few trend lines here. This we've got this very long term trend line that's coming through right now. Let me take that off the screen. Right, so we've got this very long term trend line, and the market's right at that level right now. So, what's going to happen here? We we did get we did get that short term rise. I did a video yesterday um, saying, uh, and we were right here. Uh, we were right here when I did the video. I said, get ready for a, a short term rise out of gold, and that's exactly what happened. Um, and now we're sort of just holding through there um, as well. If we're looking at a short-term analysis, there is there is a bit of a trend line coming down through there somewhere. Uh, again, let's just make that a lot thicker. And so you can see we're at this support level here, but we also have this overall sort of channel in place as well too. And let me actually bring this here through to there, there through to there, right. Um, let me see, is it actually, is there a support level through there? Is that the, is that, that's probably the support level through there. Let me see if I can, I'm just doing this on the fly right now. So it's probably through that level through there, I would say. So it's probably through that, through, through that level through there. That's the major support level I would say that we're in. And obviously we've got a little bit of a higher level up through there as well too. So somewhere that, that whole, that whole area through there is obviously an angle. But um, that's where we're at right now, right? We're at this sort of X marks the spot on gold. Gold is probably likely to continue to have a bit of a rise through here, uh, but it definitely doesn't mean the actual the trend has started to change. And the same thing for silver as well too. You can see what's happened with silver. 
Um, let me just delete that off the screen. So Silva is actually doing the same thing through here as well. You can see how we're getting this rejection point through here. And also you've got this sort of, uh, let's actually just create a parallel trend line out of that one. A parallel, 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 a parallel, a parallel trend line. And we extend that out. So you can see what's happening through here. If we, if if silver does this pattern here, traders, so if silver does here this pattern, like this and this and this and this, and then we start to get a breakdown, then we're probably gonna head back down towards this um, $16 level. We didn't get the break above um, that I was talking about yesterday. So we didn't get we didn't get confirmation, but we got confirmation. That's on the short-term analysis there. Um, but, we're, but we did get confirmation on the gold. And that's the reason why we got that rise um, from there when it comes to that. I want to talk about confirmation is um, I talked about how, let me just take it off the screen. I was saying that that this is that this is where we were last night. And I'm saying once we actually break above these highs up here, then it's probably going to trigger a bit of a short term rally out of the markets there. Again, if, for you guys that are intraday traders through there. So that's what I'm looking at on the uh, on on the actual uh, stock market through there. Let's go have a look at the interest rates. Interest rates are doing exactly what I was, what I've been planning and what I've been saying this whole time. I've been absolutely just spot on. I've been wrong with some other calls. <laughs> I'll, I'll eat my crow for that. But the interest rates, I've been absolutely bang smack on about what's coming through here. And uh, even when we were down through here and we come down through here, I've said we're probably gonna get a, a strong bounce into the head and shoulder formation and then a rollover and then a continuation. And that's exactly what's happening. We continue getting some bearishness. We continue getting a selling off into the 30 year. You get the 10 year down almost 10% 10, 10 as well too. Again, this is exactly, I've been sort of screaming head and shoulder formation uh, through here. And then now, as you can see, we're probably going to see a very, very, very continuation on the bearishness on that down. This is going to be bullish for markets. Okay, so that's where we're, we're at a bit of a junction point where if the, if the interest rates do continue to pull back, this is probably going to be bullish overall for the for the, for all asset prices, right? And for the stock market. Um, so that's where it's like technically we need to wait and see if we. We're, I'm getting these big picture analysis of what what the markets are doing, so I'm seeing that. But then I need to see. I need to wait wait for the stock market to at least start an upward trend. Always want to wait. Always want to jump on a good strong trend. Um, don't ever preempt that just because the interest rates are doing this. Don't ever preempt that it's going to be. Um, a good time to buy um, the stock market. Now, I, I've always believed, just by looking at the interest rates and the, and the big thing, the big cycle, is that we're going to see a second quarter, a second half year strong rally. I just didn't know how that was going to play out, but now we're starting to see things happening. We're starting to see interest rates pull back, which is probably going to have um, have, a, have a have a bit of a bullish effect on the actual Fed as well too. So there we go, traders. Hope that helps you out, traders. Make sure you go down to johnsflash.com. I'm doing a master trader bundle for only $4. In video number one, you're going to learn the number one chart reading and trading technique that has been working since the 1950s. Uh, and video number two is all about the chart, the trading, uh, trading boundaries the, that shows you the best and worst time to place a trade. Uh, video number three is about price and time phases so you can understand what's going on right now and what's to come. Video number four is about price and time going deep in advance. Video number five is all about powerful chart reading strategies, a one hour and 20 minute full deep training on the best trading techniques on the planet. Bonus number one also is my number one powerful short-term trading income trading system. And bonus number two is also access to a live training that I'm running as well too. So this is what I want you to do right now, guys. I want to, make, want to go down to johnsflashsale.com, johnsflashsale.com. Go there right now, or there should be a link in the description. Go there right now, guys. Click on that because I don't know how how long I'm going to be running this sale for. So this so since it's, since it's, since it's the weekend right now for you guys, uh, get out, get access to this. Go in there and start to learn this and start to apply it to the charts. And I promise you, your trading and your ability to trade and your success rate will absolutely skyrocket.